Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. In this video, I'm going to show you how to duplicate models with alginate impression material. Here's my model. It's a lower. Now, I've been soaking this model, and the reason I soak the model is so that it uh, gets all the bubbles out of it. If you don't get the bubbles out of it, when you put the impression material on it, the impression material will go into the porosity of the model and then it'll be just practically impossible to get it off. So I soak it. Now if you have, this is a good stone model. If you have a model that's kind of got a chalky surface to it, maybe they sent you a plaster model or uh, maybe they didn't pour it up, mix up the gypsum well, and then when they poured it up it was uh, too watery so it's kind of chalky on the surface. If you do that, instead of soaking it, you can take a wet paper towel and put over it and then lay it in a little bit of water. That way the water will penetrate the model, fill up the porosity without degenerating the surface of the model. All right, now I use this impression uh, tray. This is a disposable tray, but I use it over and over and over. And I like to get a tray that gives me plenty of room. I want to make sure I get plenty of room for that. And the idea is I want to go down into the impression material but I don't want to go all the way down and touch the tray. If I do, then it's going to leave a cusp tip touching the tray, which could lead to a misrepresentation of the anatomy or cause it to bubble or something. So I just want it to be in the impression material, but not all the way through. Now, I've got three, I like to use three scoops, and I've already got it pre-measured here. And then, of course, I'll have a three measure of water to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start, put the water in there. We'll start the spatulation. Now once I get it spatulated, I like to turn it sideways and kind of smash out all the bubbles I can. Okay, once I got all the bubbles smashed out that I can, I'm going to kind of turn the spatula this way and kind of scoop it up. I'm going to put it on the back of the tray here. Kind of give it a little shake. I'm going to dip it in water one more time. And then I'm going to put it on here. Now I like to set it at an angle so I make sure that the anterior teeth are well represented. And I went down, but uh, hopefully I didn't go all the way through. I just want it to be in the middle of the impression material. All right, we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and come back and take a look at it. Okay, it's set up by now. It's nice and hard. Now, I could just pull it out, but it's better, I have found, to run a little water and keep it wet while you're separating it. I can just take my finger in here, or I could take a lab knife and get under there and kind of pry it up a little bit. In fact, I think I will take a lab knife. And the water will help help it separate. I just slowly pull it out. As I pull it out and it starts to separate, I keep the water running under it. Just wiggle it out, wiggle it out. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at it. And it looks like I was successful in just going into the impression material and not hitting the tray. So this is a pretty good, pretty good impression. Now if you don't know how to pour an impression, I've got a video just look in my channel, uh, Pouring Impressions, and I go into detail on that. So there you go, it's how to duplicate a model. I'll see you next week.